great Friday morning, February 14, 2020. To God be the glory. Another beautiful, happy loves day. Amen. The Lord will secure your heart and make it glad 365 days a year. And because this year is leap year, right? We have 29 days in February. So we're in the midpoint of this month already. And know that the Lord gives his grace and his love daily so we are to be glad we are in psalms 112 i believe yes talking about the heart talking about love and talking about how we are not moved by things that go on around us how think about back in 1957 and then 1960 november 14th how ruby bridges little six-year-old she was chosen because she was very smart. She was one of six or four girls to uh, desegregate um, a couple of elementary schools down south. And she was chosen to do so from Louisiana. She was originally from Mississippi. But anyway, that little girl was able to walk through the crowds. She had the U.S. Marshals around her, but she had such courage, such strength. Her heart was fixed. She was praying for those enemies, people who wanted to throw uh, people through things at her, but the marshals were around her. But something that I didn't know, there was a sign that someone had a picture to try to intimidate Ruby. They actually had a wooden coffin with a black baby doll inside trying to intimidate her saying, yeah, you keep on coming to school you gonna be dead just like this baby doll in a coffin what and eventually she got nightmares but she persevered still alive doing great things to this day so what is the encouragement for us today let our heart be fixed just like ruby prayed for her enemies love bless do good pray you all know the verse in matthew 5 44 and it says in verse 7 of psalms 112 she or he shall not be afraid of evil tidings, bad news, headlines. You don't know what you're going to wake up to today as far as what's on the news. The, the numbers are increasing for coronavirus and everything else. Look, your heart is fixed trusting the Lord. In verse 8, our heart is established. We shall not be afraid. Amen. So in the meantime... We are doing what verse 5 says. A good man, a good woman, a good teenager, a good youth show a favor and lend it. We bless others, right? And we will guide our affairs, whatever our work is to do today, with discretion. And we enjoy the blessing of the Lord. When people are like, oh, did you get chocolate? Did you get flowers? <laughs> no, I got a new day. I got God's faithfulness and protection. And his love and his the good health and strength. Huh? You better brag on the Lord. And in Psalms 44, 8, it says that in God do we boast all day long and praise thy name forever. So he is the one who we brag about. Right? Our confidence is in the Lord. We trust him and we tell others of the good news and the good deeds that he does to us and for us daily. Yes, our hearts will not turn back. Nope, our steps will not decline from thy way. That's in verse 18 of Psalm 44. No, we're going to do great things. We're going to do the work of the Lord. And because that was, well, today is February 14th. We would have gone over these verses. But we want to share the goodness of the Lord. Psalms 144, blessed be the Lord, my strength. The Lord will strengthen all of our hearts today as we do the work of the Lord and glorify him every moment. Have a wonderful Valentine's Day, love day in the Lord.